So today we're going to learn how to take accurate bodies measurements. How to take accurate bodies measurements. And I'm going to be using my baby doll here. The dress for my call has Zara. Hello Zara, say hi to them. I'm going to be using my dress form here to show you how to take measurement for the upper backs. Upper toes. That's from um, anything like your blouse your blouse, any top that's going to stop at the waistline I'm going to be doing just for the upper toes for you subsequent videos may have for skirts, for trousers, for the sleeves this is just for the upper toes so let's get straight into the video you know you know how we roll so first I'm going to measure my shoulder measurement it's going to be from one shoulder bone to the other shoulder bone here we go. This is it. I'm having 15 inches for Zara. Next, we're going to measure our across chest measurement. We have the across chest measurement and we have the across back measurement. The across chest measurement is taken from here, above your chest region here. From here, that's where it's taken from. This measurement is very necessary for your ample. It gives a hammer fit pack. So this measurement is essential. So now I have 12 and a half inches. Remember we have 15 inches for the shoulder. Here I'm having 12 and a half inches. So can you imagine when you do like a whole 15 inches here? Then here would give would give out. So always measure your across chest measurement. Let me move my baby back. Let's measure the across back measurement. You take it from here. See, I have uh, 13 and a half inches. Still smaller than the shoulder measurement. So it's actually necessary to take this measurement. So let's go back to the front. Next we're going to take is the bust measurement. Now, I'm taking the round bust measurement. Here is it. I have 36 inches. This measurement should be read parallel to the back. This is in the bust measurement. I have 36 inches. The tail shouldn't be sagging down at the back. No, it should stand firm. I have 36 inches. Now, my under bust measurement that is under your bust. This measurement should be taken firmly. I have 29 and a half inches for the under bust measurement. So my waist measurement here. Yeah. Mind you, the waist measurement is not on your navel point. No. To get these 29 inches, to get where your under bust measurement will be, you have to tilt to one side. Where it goes in, you see it there, that's your waist measurement. This is where I tilt, this is where my navel is. You see, this is where I tilt, this is where my navel is. So it's kind of different. So it's always advisable to maybe tell applying to tilt. And for those that are fat, they, it's really hard for you to see where went more inside. You can check from their back. Where it went inside from their back. That's where you can get it from. You put your tape around it and bring it to the front for them. That's their waist measurement for someone that is fat. For someone that is slim like us, you just tilt, tell them to tilt. You see the waist measurement easily. So now I've done the waist measurement. So you either take the hip measurement or wherever you want your blouse length to stop. You take the measurement around it. This is 32 and a half. So I have to take the shoulder to your nipple point. It's also known as bust point measurement. Your shoulder, I'm taking the shoulder here and the neck bone after the neck itself. Directly here, that's where I'm taking the shoulder from, here. I'm taking it shoulder to the bust point. I have ten and a half. That same way, just leave it there. Take it to the under bust. Shoulder to your under bust. Fourteen and a half. That's the measurement. You take your half length. My half length here is seventeen and a half. Mind you, the half length for the front and the back is different. 
the half length for the front and your back is totally different. Why is different is because, see now, I have a bust in front and there are some people that also have tummy in front. So because of the bust and the tummy, you can't compare it to the back that is totally flat. So it makes the front and back quite different. So I've measured 17 and a half here. Let's go to the back. Yeah, let's go to the back and let's confirm. So from here to the back, where went inside. For this baby here, I have 15 and a half. 15 and a half, 17 and a half. Please compare. Two inches different if I'm right. Yes. So two inches different. So you have to always confirm that measurement to be actually sure. Then the way you use it in when you, when we come to drafting, you see how I use the front length, half length, and the back length. So whatever we need also is the nipple to your nipple point. Your nipple to the nipple point, also known as the post span measurement. You take it from one nipple to the other nipple. I have six inches here. So now some people do bust radius. Your bust radius. Your bust radius, you take it from your nipple point to your under bust point. From your nipple point to your under bust point. That's when you get your bust radius to take round, especially when you're doing a corset. This is the bust radius. Or you can actually get it by subtracting your shoulder to under bust measurement by your shoulder to bust point measurement. I think I've captured everything that you need for the upper toes when you're working with a blouse or you're working with a crop top, everything about the upper toes measurement. Next video you're going to see is uh, how to take skirt measurement and how to take trouser measurement to follow next before you get how to take your sleeve measurement. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you understood something today and you have learned something to add to what you already know. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Love you. Let me leave you with my Zara.